In this demo, we will learn how the staff at a fictional organization, the Simple Outdoors Company, uses various Infosphere Optum tools that are included in the DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition to gain more value from their business critical applications. We will see how the team detects and corrects an emergence database problem, optimizes storage utilization to increase storage capacity and delay hardware upgrades, builds performance into a new application right from the start. When eroding performance delays service, customer satisfaction goes down and so does revenue. Poor performance management results in increased capital expenditures for server CPUs, memory and disk storage systems. Poor utilization means you buy more hardware sooner to fix the problem or spend even more expensive staff time researching performance issues and resolutions. Performance issues impact employee productivity. Business users lose productivity because systems are not available. Missed service level agreements result in revenue loss due to unresponsive databases and applications. Business can face customer churn and revenue losses. Many, if not most, of the organizations are on a reactive model to performance management, fixing issues as they occur where costs are highest. To address those performance-related challenges, IBM provides a set of comprehensive tools for optimizing and managing performance across the data environment. This set of tools, included in the DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition, offers a comprehensive step-by-step -step approach to improve database and application performance, reduce costs, and foster collaboration across job roles to help IT teams quickly identify potential database performance issues, analyze issues to find the root cause of a performance degradation, Resolve database and application problems quickly and efficiently with expert recommendations. Prevent problems by managing resource allocation according to business priorities, proactively addressing potential performance and storage issues early, and by building performance into new applications right from the start. The following products are included in DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition. Infosphere Optum Performance Manager, Infosphere Optum Configuration Manager, Infosphere Optum Query Workload Tuner. Infosphere Optum Pure Query Runtime, and IBM Data Studio. Let's see how these Infosphere Optum tools help the IT team at the Sample Outdoors company in various scenarios. In our first scenario, Shelly, the DBA, receives a call from a client rep complaining about slow response times from one of the order processing applications. Shelly logs into the Optum Performance Manager web console. In the Extended Insight Analysis dashboard, she looks at the application performance information for the Monitor GSDB database for the last hour. The red flag in the Workload Group field shows that critical thresholds have been exceeded for the periodic order processing application. With a quick glance at the response time graph, she sees that the response times in the last hour have exceeded both the previously configured critical and warning threshold levels. Shelly double-clicks the application to get more details. The average end-to-end -end response time graph shows how much time on average is spent in each layer of the application stack and also includes the maximum end-to-end -end response times. The time distribution graph shows that the majority of time was spent on the data server. Shelly can also see the most expensive SQL statements by response time. If needed, she can also display the top SQL statements by CPU time, rows read, or other criteria. Then, Shelly decides to tune the entire workload to get consolidated recommendations that balance all the costs, resources, constraints, and weighted improvements across the workload. The SQL statements in the periodic order processing application for the selected time interval are automatically sent to the Infosphere Optum Query Workload Tuner. Shelly creates a workload for these statements and it is added to the existing workload list. Next, Shelly invokes the workload advisors to start the tuning process. There are various advisors that can help tune performance. First, Shelly runs the statistics workload advisor that analyzes statistics available for the objects related to the SQL statements in the workload and provides statistics recommendations that apply to the entire workload. In this example, the statistics are current and there are no recommendations from the advisor. 
Next, Shelly runs the workload index advisor and looks at its recommendations. Shelly can see that if the recommended indexes are created, the performance will improve by the estimated 99% and that a half megabyte of disk space is needed. There are two indexes recommended for the customer order header table. She can see the SQL statements affected by each index along with estimated performance benefit. She evaluates which existing indexes are used for the workload. She can also examine the list of indexes chosen by the optimizer and pruned by the advisor with explanations why they are not recommended. Finally, Shelley reviews the DDL for creating the indexes, saves it for a team review, and then schedules an appropriate time to run it. With the help of Infosphere Optim tools, Shelley is able to quickly identify, diagnose, and solve the performance problem. As business at the Sample Outdoors company is growing with more customers and more transactions, the databases keep increasing in size and require more storage. But since the company needs to cut costs, the IT team must delay hardware upgrades. In the next scenario, we will see how Shelly uses Infosphere Optum Configuration Manager to discover some storage savings by reclaiming unused storage, compressing data, and identifying rarely used objects for archiving or deletion. While looking at the System Health Summary panel of Infosphere Optum Performance Manager, Shelly notices a yellow flag for the GSDB database storage. She drills down to see when the warning threshold has been reached and notes the database capacity information. Shelly looks at the Disk Space Consumption Report to analyze the trends and storage growth rates to see how quickly the storage is growing. Shelly decides to use Infosphere Optum Configuration Manager to identify opportunities to optimize storage consumption and slow down the growth. In the Storage Configuration tab, Shelly examines the storage report that is periodically generated for the database. The top grid shows the total estimated savings for reclaiming, the static and adaptive compression savings, and the last time that the database was used. The reclaimed storage grid lists the tables and indexes with trapped storage that can be reclaimed by a reorg. Storage space generally gets trapped when rows are deleted or their size is altered. The compression grid lists the tables and indexes that can benefit from compression. The objects are ranked by the estimated compression savings. Shelly can schedule a job to do a reorg. In this example, as the database is at version 10, Shelly can see the estimates for adaptive compression in addition to the static compression. Shelly can also analyze the seldom used objects tab where the objects are ranked by the frequency of use. Shelly can schedule jobs to drop or archive any rarely used objects. In this example, Shelly was able to identify opportunities to recover enough disk space to slow down storage growth, delay hardware upgrades, and improve query performance due to a smaller footprint. In the next scenario, the Sample Outdoors company is implementing a new application to support their growing business partner relationships. Roslyn, the application developer, and Eric, the DBA, are working on the new application. They have decided to develop the project using IBM Data Studio and Infosphere Optum Pure Query Runtime that can help them collaborate on performance considerations earlier in the cycle where it's cheaper and less disruptive to find and correct potential errors. Let's see how IBM Data Studio and Infosphere Optum Pure Query Runtime give them unique performance insights and build in best practices for their application. Roslyn quickly develops a new application by using the provided SQL-aware editor that supports semantic and syntactic error checking and content assist capabilities. Using the Pure Query API, not only does Roslyn complete her work in half the time it normally takes her to code the JDBC herself, but she is also using best practices like workload batching and parameter marker usage. After Rosling has finalized the application, she needs to optimize its performance. There are three different types of performance data in SQL Outline that can be analyzed for tuning. The first type of performance data comes from the built-in DB2 Explain. This data can be sorted 
to identify costly SQL statements estimated by the optimizer without running the statements. The second type of performance data is the actual elapsed time information that is collected when the application is run in the IBM Data Studio workbench. Here, after the application workload is run, Roslyn can examine the performance data and quickly identify the SQL statements that are most frequently run or have the longest elapsed times. Once Roslyn promotes the application to their test environment, she shares the SQL with Eric. Here, he can see just the SQL accessing the application, rather than having to wade through the Java code. Then, when QA tests the application, the performance metrics are captured with Infosphere Optum Performance Manager. Eric uses the third performance view in IBM Data Studio to see the metrics to have more insights into the performance details, such as total data server time, network time, CPU time, rows read and returned, and so forth. He uses Infosphere Optum Query Workload Tuner to validate his index design and evaluate other indexing options with the virtual index support. For every SQL statement shown in any type of performance view, Roslyn or Eric can run one of the available tasks, such as tuning the SQL with Infosphere Optum Query Workload Tuner. As Eric works with the performance team to drive out scalability and performance issues, he reviews the highest cost SQL and sends Roslyn some recommendations from Infosphere Optum Query Tuner on how to rewrite it. By using Infosphere Optum Performance Manager, you can pinpoint the exact line of code where the SQL is executed, making it easy for Rosling and him to quickly make progress. This metadata, collected during development and shared with Infosphere Optum Performance Manager, will continue to speed up problem diagnosis and resolution after the application is deployed to production. After the application is developed, tested and tuned, Roslyn works together with Eric to bind it for static execution to lock down database access before deployment. This way, not only is the access plan locked for consistent performance, but also the SQL that can come into the database is locked down to mitigate any SQL injection risks. We have seen how the various Infosphere Optum tools have helped DBAs and application developers at the Sample Outdoors Company to meet service level agreements by monitoring key performance indicators and getting early warning of emerging problems, quickly isolating and resolving problems, optimizing application and system performance with expert recommendations, reduce costs by increasing performance and storage capacity of existing systems and fixing errors early in the application development cycle. Saving staff time, improving productivity and agile collaboration across team roles with expert level tooling for development and performance tuning throughout the application cycle. The following products are included in DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition. Infosphere Optum Performance Manager provides seamless analysis of performance data from real time to any point in time and helps you align database management and monitoring with business priorities. Maintain service level objectives by getting proactive notification of potential problems. Save staff time and get faster diagnosis using interactive dashboards that make it easy to see where a transaction is spending their time. Compare current metrics to prior points and view recent trends. Move from a reactive to a proactive performance management model based on trend analysis and capacity planning. Infosphere Optum Configuration Manager helps DBAs and other IT staff get insight into IT deployment by exploring data client and data server configurations and relationships, reduce database outages, and enforce compliance with centralized control and analysis of distributed database access. Monitor configuration changes that might relate to a performance degradation. Improve system storage utilization by compressing data and migrating data to different types of storage based on the frequency of usage. Infosphere Optum Query Workload Tuner helps you improve application performance with actionable, expert recommendations with statistics, statistical views, indexes, materialized query tables, and multidimensional clustering. Reduce specialized skills requirement so more staff can contribute to performance improvement. Balance costs by considering and tuning for the entire workload. Infosphere Optum Pure Query Runtime and IBM Data Studio 
can help you to maximize and simplify collaboration across job roles, speed up new application development and deployment, improve application throughput, and mitigate security risks. By leveraging these InfraSphere Optum tools, you can take charge of your data environment, maximizing DB2 performance while lowering the total cost of ownership of your DB2 implementation. For more information about DB2 Advanced Enterprise Server Edition and the related InfraSphere Optum offerings, visit us on the web at the links shown here.